It's 545 on this soggy Thursday morning. With the start of the new year, most of us are looking to the future with anticipation of what's to come. But folks at Fort Pulaski are looking back this weekend, honoring the fort's history. It's all happening all weekend long and WJCL's Cassidy Lance joins us now in the studio with more. Hey, good morning, Cassidy. Good morning, Jessica. Yes, staff and volunteers at Fort Pulaski National Monument will spend the first weekend of 2014 focusing on the fort's history by marking the fort's seizure by state militia. Well, it happened more than 150 years ago as the country was slowly unraveling on its way to civil war. In fact, it was January 3rd, 1861, when the U.S. Army was forcibly evicted from the fort by Georgia State Militia forces, a time when state troops around the South began seizing federal facilities, including Fort Pulaski. So this weekend, staff and volunteers at the fort will remember the historic event with simulations, musket and cannon firings, uh, demonstrations, and guided fort tours. It all starts this Friday on the anniversary of the seizure at 10 a.m., and will continue through Sunday afternoon. To simulate the event, the fort will also fly the Georgia flag of secession from January 3rd until March 4th, the 153rd anniversary of the adoption of the first official national flag of the Confederacy. Now, during this time, the park will also interpret the fort as a Confederate occupied military installation every day except Saturdays. So Jessica, again, during a time when we're usually looking ahead, it's a nice reminder to never forget our past and of course a fun and educational way for the whole family to ring in the new year. Absolutely. Thanks, Cassidy. Thank you.